yesterday I met Jodie Whittaker, who is the 13th Doctor, and I saw the new TARDIS, the new companions, and we watched them film some of Series 11. So, um, it started as a very normal day. If you'd have told me yesterday that that day I would be meeting the 13th Doctor, my mind <laughs> would have been blown. I would not have believed you. Um, but it happened. On my Twitter came up, uh, Doctor Who is filming in Sheffield today. Funny story, we arrived and we were driving down the hill towards where they were filming. We could literally see the TARDIS and then we realised we couldn't drive any further. So we turned around, parked up the hill, walked down and the TARDIS was gone. We realised uh, after a while that there were people taking equipment up the hill. Now we walked up the hill and we only saw Bradley Walsh. Bradley Walsh was filming a scene at the top of the hill. They did a shot where he was, it was kind of a big landscape behind him um, of the whole of Sheffield. It was like on this hill. He did a shot where he was just looking out. And then they also did a shot where he was walking across the road towards the camera. He then got in the car. Um, and first of all, me and Will decided that we were going to try and wave to him whilst he drove off. Now, w watch how that turned out. Oh, he did see us. We went back down the hill again because we noticed that Bradley's car was going down the hill So we guessed that maybe something was going on um, Now we were walking down the hill and that was when a Jaguar drove past us And there was a there was a blonde woman when we got to the bottom of the hill We found out that it actually was J.D. Whittaker Tozin or Tozin however you pronounce He's playing uh, Ryan and Mandip who is playing Yasmin. So that's the young guy and the young girl. The three of them stepped out of the car, they met Bradley Walsh, and we all managed to get a photo with Jodie Whisker, which was insane. Um, she was so, so nice. Uh, honestly, any doubts that you might have had as her as the Doctor, when you watched her with the fans, especially children, and I know I've read this online, people are saying how good she is with children. There were these two little kids there yesterday, and they ran up to her, and she was literally in her element. She was chatting away to them, she asked them what their names were, she was being all jokey with them, and if, if, that, if I hadn't been sold before by her, that completely sold me on Jodie, because she was so nice to those kids, and to everyone else as well. I mean, she was asking, has anybody got a photo? Has everybody got a photo? She made sure everybody in the group had a photo. I mean, Will was absolutely over the moon with the fact that, that he said, nice to meet you, and she shouted, nice to meet you too, back to him. We were just mind blown that she had taken that time in between filming um, to to meet us and, and to get photos with us, because I mean, she didn't have to do that. The fact that she takes that time and the fact that she lets you take photos with her and the fact that she actually has a bit of a chat with you and says, nice to meet you and all that kind of thing. Um, and I mean, she's so energetic as well. That's another thing that I read online and I completely agree with. She is so energetic with the way that she does things. And I mean, she's probably been filming for hours and hours at that point. But she made sure that she was still nice and still um, fresh and still made the effort with us. And I think that that is a really, really good thing for her to do. They were actually filming a little bit of a, of a scene on, on this bridge that's right by the, the university in Sheffield. We took the opportunity to get a second photo with Jodie Whittaker. Because if one photo with the Doctor isn't enough, we wanted a second one. So I got a second photo with Jodie Whittaker. Um, Shout out to Hannah for taking one of the photos with my eyes closed. I'll put that up now. At that point, she went away, actually. She'd finished for the day. And they started building up the TARDIS again. And one of the guys who was working on the production told us that this was kind of Bradley Walsh's scene. First of all, one of the things that, I, that I'm, I'm making sure that I mention in this video, which I, did, I don't know whether it's been said in public already, and I don't know if anyone else noticed it, but the light on top of the new TARDIS is blue. And, and as far as I'm aware, that hasn't ever been the case before. Certainly not in David Tennant's TARDIS, and certainly not on Matt Smith's or Peter Capaldi's TARDIS. Um, but the light on the top of the bulb, is it flashes blue. The rest of the new TARDIS is actually, I, I really like it. It feels like they're going back to sort of David Tennant, Christopher Eccleston's um, exterior TARDIS. Um, they've got rid of the St. John's ambulance on the front door. And actually, it's kind of more of a... 
like a bluey greeny colour now than a, than a dark blue. But anyway, back to the scene. It was essentially Bradley Walsh and the two of the companions walking inside the TARDIS. Now Jodie Whittaker wasn't in it, and I got the impression that in the scene she was actually inside the TARDIS already. The girl, and I'm sorry I keep forgetting her name, uh, walks over um, to the guy, to the young guy who stood outside the TARDIS already. Bradley Walsh comes over and Bradley Walsh knocks on the TARDIS door. The TARDIS door opens, which I'm assuming is either Jodie Whittaker opening it um, in the show or it, it opens automatically. He knocks on it, the doors open, or one of the doors opens, and they walk in. And they and they walk in, and then that was the end of the, the scene. In my head, that could quite easily be the end of episode one. Um, that could quite easily be them first entering the TARDIS. The way that they did it, it, it felt like it could be the first time. They, they, they seemed excited to go in, um, and to me, it seemed more like it was in the first episode than them just walking in on another episode. We didn't get photos with any of the other companions. They were all kind of just one place to another, one place to another. I did post on Reddit and Twitter before I made this video just saying if anyone has any questions about what happened yesterday, wants to know anything that maybe I didn't mention, um, then I'd answer it. One is from L99P who says, did you see her acting as the Doctor? How's her style? Did she follow in past Doctor's footsteps or is she trying to do her own thing? Now, I can't even, I can't even speculate on that question because I, I didn't see her film anything as the Doctor yesterday. We only saw her in between takes. So I can't, I can't tell you, unfortunately. And the other person, I gave bismuth, I gave bismuth, asks, did you see the Sonic? And no, unfortunately, I can't answer that one either because I didn't see the Sonic. Now, one question that I was asked on Twitter was, I really want to know how she was with the fans. It's not really a question. That was by Dark Griffiths. Not really a question, Dark Griffiths. She was great. She was really great. I, I needed to kind of make this video for it to sink in. It was a crazy, crazy day. Thank you very much for watching. If you are a new visitor, to the James's Vlogs channel, then please do subscribe. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, and please comment down below. Let me know what you think of some of the things that I've said. Let me know if you've been to any of the filming days. Um, and let me know what you think of the light on the top being blue. I'll see you very soon for another video. Probably a vlog. Who knows? Um, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.